everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of The Dice That Bind Us. I'm Alex, the dungeon master of this D&D game that I play with these lovely folks surrounding me. We are in the midst of the final battle of this campaign, this two years spanning over 100 episode long. Let's call it what it is. A little bit of a CF. A little bit of a CF from there. I don't know if it's been 60 seconds, but at this point it probably has. It's a clusterfuck, friends. That's what this is. <laughs> As a recap for last time, stuff happened. And truthfully, there's not much more to recap. The assault on Xerxes headquarters started. A lot of those fights are leaning in the way of the heroes. Um, there has been some damage dealt on both sides for sure. Uh, most notably on the side of the heroes, the side that all of you drastically care about more. We have one Ileana who is currently laying unconscious at one failed death save. Uh, but as a bonus to the heroes, with some clever bullet shooting by Argus, we have Dandelion and an anti-magic aura surrounding him, and the Goliath trapped in a magic bullet casing, strapped to his chest. Jumping right back into this combat here, we're going to be on the first map here. Um, as just for the folks home, as a reminder, this is rotating between four separate battle maps, though not all of them are nearly as active as the others at this current juncture. This opens in a pretty tense state as we are rejoining the field where Deanthos has, after looking very beat up and battered and bruised, finally activated his aspect. This sheet of metal that surrounds his body in an almost suit of armor that he had had floating around him previously acting as that floating shield that was moving around, blocking some of Gum Gum shots and the like, but now has coated his entire body, which took a lot of the damage that Harlan and Gum Gum had dumped in on that turn, and then upon being procced by taking damage at a certain time, redirected it all directly into Ileana, who was flying above. And thus we jump back into combat here with Deanthos, who is going to look up at Harlan Dino. <laughs> I guess look down at Harlan Dino. He's probably a little taller than you. Like a lot taller than you. Just kind of looks down at you where you're standing, smiles, chuckles lightly, and he's going to take some swings at Ileana. Ileana, what is your AC sans like shield and spells and etc.? 21. Gotcha. Uh, you are prone and unconscious, so these are going to be made at advantage. First swing, it's a 31. Uh, rebuke the Violent. I need a wisdom save from uh, Danthus. What is Rebuke the Violent while I roll this? Uh, rebuke the violence immediately after an attacker within 30 feet deals damage with an attack against a creature other than you I can use my reaction to force the attacker to make a whiz save on failure Deanthus is going to take radiant damage equal to the damage he deals or half damage on a success uh, that's a natural one for a 17 on the wisdom saving throw so uh, whatever damage he does it's, he's going to take radiant damage equal perfect. I'll look up at him and I'll go <clears throat> eat your words and that's, uh, that's it. He takes 46 radiant damage as he brings his blade down and through the neck of Ileana, separating head from body. Ileana, unfortunately, for the moment being, you know your party's capabilities. Fortunately, Ileana has died. <clears throat> Is there anything holding Ilya's soul here? I think while the barriers are active, it would be yeah, stuck. That makes, yeah, <laughs> that, that, that makes sense. Yeah. What you do see is a familiar energy, this bright white energy come pouring out of Ileana. Uh-oh. Deanthos reaches his hand out, and you see out of his gauntlet, the fingertips flare open, and the energy that is being released from Ileana, which you all know to be divine power, is absorbed into the gauntlet. And he looks, turns and looks at you, Harlan, just nods, <laughs> no words, and he's going to take three other attacks at you. First, at, like, at disadvantage until they hit, so I'll roll them one at a time. Let me know if any of them hit. The first one meets. Uh, so it'll be two hits. I'm, I'm down. I'm unconscious. Uh, let's do damage one at a time then. Okay. To see. So the first hit is going to do uh, 44 damage. Still up. And the second one, just with the weapon damage, is, 20, is 31. But that's good. That means you don't automatically fail any death saves. He's going to use his final action surge, and he's going to lay on hands himself. Uh, Gum Gum and Samantha being the only two standing, and Kapiana see a lot of the wounds on his body start to close. He looks a lot more fit. Uh, that will take us to Gum Gum's turn. All right. Well, I have four attacks, and look at that. I have four grip points. We're going to start with a disarming shot at advantage because I'm still invisible. 36. Okay, he needs to make a DC 22 strength save. 32. 
He needs to make another. Well, I don't know if he needs to make another one, but we're going to try it again. 32 to hit. 32 misses. 37 to hit. Hits. Make the 22. DC 22. The eight. That's fine. Well, then last shot. 28 misses. It misses, unfortunately. Two hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. There's one. There's two. Plus, um, with my aspect, I will make one of those a critical. Uh, once per turn, treat any attack you roll that hits as a critical. This crit triples the dice instead of doubles them. Correct. Plus, whenever I damage a creature, I do 3d6 normally. So in total, you're going to be rolling 12d6 plus an additional 12d8. There we go. So for just a small little tad of 166 damage being done to the end this year. And then I'll move. That'll end Gum Gum's turn. Perfect. That'll take us to Samantha's turn. Uh, Samantha is going to rush here and is going to fish for a healing potion again from Harlandino. You said you had a few on you, right? Um, I would have, yes. We'll say, we'll say that you have two more and she'll take okay. one of them to bring you up. Okay. Um, she's going to spend her whole action economy to rifle, give you the potion. Did, didn't we find out that we can't heal because of Deontis' weapon? We did find that out. I don't believe that Samantha understands that. Uh, so she is going to spend her turn trying to heal you because she knows who the heavy hitters are and wants to, and saw what happened to Ileana and wants to make sure that someone is trying to fight. But ultimately, that healing potion will not take effect because of the weapon of certain death. Uh, Kapiana. Um, there's not a whole lot she can do right now. Uh, I guess ready an action to cast Cure Wounds through Aoline. We'll have, have Aoli fly in. And I guess if Deanthos doesn't attack Holin, then cast Cure Wounds. Otherwise, it, you know, I, I know it's, I, sure. I think that's it. Harlan, I need a death saving throw. That is a failure, unfortunately. This battlefield looking in dire straits for the party. However, we jump to the second battle map where things are looking a little bit different. Top of this order, it would have been the uh, Goliath's turn, but that is when Dandelion is acting on this field. In this room, we have Lysander, Argus, Garbanzo, who is currently dominant personed. Dandelion currently has no spells, currently cannot cast. So he looks up, looks at you, Lysander, the one who he's had the longest getting to know, looks at you and goes, well, you've all certainly gotten much stronger. Always have fail safes, though. And you see, he looks up, and you see kind of the first time you're noticing it in this room filled with these blue lights, there is a blue crystal on the ceiling of this room. He looks up and goes, fail safe 496, activate, please. And the crystal glows. And that, my friends, is where our current initiative orders and our current battlefields are going to break. The timing of this is impeccable, because Departos is currently infused trickster magic traveler the traveler thank yeah. you very much i can't believe i fucked that up that's what i meant no one but Tapartos sees any of this happening but for Tapartos, you remember when you found orc splitter and how you didn't just find orc splitter you found gungrar Tapartos, you hear a voice in the back of your mind things are changing my boy and the world around you goes into almost imagine you opened up the map in like a sci-fi video game and yeah. you see the layout of the entire city laid out in front of you. You're looking down overhead. You see dots, traditional red dots, blue dots. You gather that in this moment, the blue dots, because it is through your eyes, are your allies. You see red dots, far fewer of them than you are expecting to see. But in these battlefields, you see that your numbers are staying strong, sans one at the moment. And then you see the red dots start to disappear and reappear, converging on the barriers room. Oh. The voice in your mind says, you can take others with you, but you're going to. Well, <clears throat> suppose this is what we came here for in the first place. Um, and Artos, any allies that you name in this current moment will be taken with you to that room. The mm -hmm. rest of the party, mouths shut. I just want to clarify, by any allies, you mean any allies. Any allies on the fields with you. Um, well, I don't want to say everyone, because then I feel like he's going to just take everybody on our ship and pop them in there, and then we're going to have a bloodbath of non-god people. But explicitly, I might get I a little everybody. crazy. Yeah, I'm going to explicitly name everybody who has some form of deitic power. Okay, so you are including like Samantha, Lockthwain. Um, you do this. And the last thing you see before you teleport are several blue dots turning red. Ah, oh, fuck. They're double agents, weren't they? My friends, I'm going to go ahead 
and take a minute, get some new character tokens added, get this map reorganized a little bit. You bitch. <laughs> you bitch. The battle map has changed slightly. As all Everybody. of these people start appearing, Argus, Lysander, everyone in this room, all of you experience this like shift in atmosphere, right? As you are either transported into or see people appearing in this one space. And it does not take any of you long to notice glowing purple glyphs on the foreheads of Soup, Phil, Gum Gum, Samantha, Lockthwain, and Garbanzo, but that's almost a moot point at this point. No. For my friends who are playing those characters, your roles have not changed. You will still be playing those characters, but you're fighting for the bad guys. Should that change at some point due to something happening inside of the battle, we will, I will let you know. We will discuss it as it comes up, but for the time being. And so, my friends, now, my friends, <laughs> for the final <laughs> time for campaign one for the dice that bind us, please, for the love of God, select your tokens first <laughs> <laughs> and roll initiative. Would you say that that was the end of his turn? Sure. Take your legendary action real quick. All right. The uh, Cosmic Core will take a legendary action of crushing tentacles and crush dandelion. What does that mean for me? The horror crushes one creature in it. It is grappling. The grappled creature must make a DC 22 con save, uh, taking 3D6 plus 8 force damage on a failed save or half as much on a successful one, which is quadruple damage because of my aspect. Perfect. There's an 18, which I believe fails. So what you said? DC 21. Yep. So DC full 22 damage, baby. con save. Sorry. Full damage, baby. Get in there. 100 yep. points. Gotcha. So 100 points of damage. Dandelion, as all of this is cracking off, shouts out, go for the artificer's chest, please. To the crowd. Kane's right there. Gum Gum will move and shoot Argus four times. Um, also remember that all of the additional allies that they just gained do half damage to all of you. So it'll be a total of 18 D6 plus... An additional 12d8. After the half, you will take 130. Okay. I'm not dead. You're I'm not unconscious. Boy. Oh, there you go. Anything else on Gum Gum's turn? That was, he doesn't have any... He moved. He shot. He doesn't okay. have any bonus actions, really. Hmm. Uh, actually, end of Gum Gum's turn. Sorry. Yeah, at the end of Gum Gum's turn. <laughs> <laughs> Legendary actions. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Mine's not a legendary action. So um, it, it, go ahead. Yeah, the cosmic horror has yeah, crushing tentacles. No, actually. Yeah. It, I mean it does have that. It could do it again. It has three legendary actions. It's only used the one so far. It'll use another one. Uh two actually. To poison jet. Foul gas squirts from a horror in a 30-foot line that is five feet wide. Each creature in the line must succeed on a DC 21 con save or take. 4d6 poison damage. It's a five foot wide line. I, so I, I don't know. So you can either hit just Dandy and Deanthos or you can hit all five. At this point, yeah, all five of them. DC 21 con. 52. 52. My thing was that I need Gum Gum to make a wisdom saving throw because. Does our boy remember us? He's trying to. That is unfortunately a 10. There's not going to be yeah, enough. Not with a 10. <laughs> um, for the Real purposes of this, every time, these to every time these get to roll, the DC goes down. And there are other ways to proc the saves and all that kind of stuff. So just stick with me. Does Soup get one too or what? Okay, so Soup would take the damage and then yes, go ahead and roll me a wisdom saving throw. Uh, that's a 16 from Soup. So 16 is going to fail this time around. It is Soup's turn. Okay. Soup is going to do what he was told to do. Going to get an angle on Argus and cast Hunter's Mark uh, with his bonus action on Argus. Um, and he's going to take two shots with Aphixis, Bow of Nylea. Uh, natural one. Misses. Oh my god, a four. And a hit. Actually, it does not hit. Okay. Ooh, okay. Cool. Uh, and then Soup, at the end of your turn, go ahead and make me another wisdom saving throw. Will do. Natural one. So that's two yeah. failed. Perfect. Nice. There's going to be Dandelion's turn. Dandelion's going to try to break this grapple. He's tired of getting crushed by this thing. Uh, it's 18. Dandelion's no longer grappled. Uh, there's not a whole lot of safe places for him to go, however. So Dandelion is going to take the dodge action. <laughs> he is a caster that has an anti-magic field on him. 
he is also going to shout out to the bandolier. Please, the bandolier on the chest. Thank you. Deanthos is going artist. to beeline for Argus. Is going to make attacks on your bandolier. But so would Deanthos going... know which one to hit? No, he's going to swing halberd at the bandolier to try to hit shells. Then okay, like to hit you. All right. That is what he was told. Was yep, hit yep. Bandolier. So for this, he's going to try to meet your AC. If there's any other interactions you have, I know you use shield already, which is going to raise that for you. Um, it is a called shot, so he's going to be rolling a disadvantage to hit specifically the bandolier. Any damage that is done is not going to go to you, Okay, but damage will cut the bandolier off. There's one miss. 24 hits. So the second attack, the bandolier gets cut at the top, mm-hmm. drags it. He's going to use his other two attacks to start stamping on it. He's going to just smash down onto Stamp attack. the bandolier itself. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll a D100. If it's 25 or lower, it hits. If not, I will do it again for the second attack. This is exciting. <laughs> not that. <laughs> not that. But it is currently like being stepped on, and he is holding his body over it for whatever that matters. Uh, the rest of you do see the bandolier on the ground as well. For your allies, they know what the bullets do. For your not allies, they know that that is their objective. That would or be a fail. Fail death save for Harlan Kimber. Yeah, because of rugs or. Because of the goo. <laughs> because of the goo. I guess I would go like down and around being mindful of a fucking passed out Harlan, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And just fucking uh, attempt to stab him, I suppose. <laughs> yes, directly <laughs> now. 33 for Lockwain. It, it has to hit. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> it was like, it's gotta hit. <laughs> yes, yeah. fair. It's like, wait, Just I'm fair. playing Lockwain. That's, that's my bad. <laughs> Uh, 12 um, piercing and 43 sneak attack because he is not within five feet of another ally. Okay. I mean, 55 damage. 65 yeah. damage. 55. I was right it's the first 55. Time. 55. I, was about to say, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> He's about dead. Uh, he also needs to make a con save. Yes, because that is how we determined it because it's when they enter it. Con save for my goop. That fails. <laughs> oh. Slash roll. He might be dead. 50 oh, damage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he had 36 hit points left. Well, I thought he was out. Drops unconscious. <laughs> uh, Ryan, anything else on your turn? Um, uh, do roll me two wisdom saving throws for Lockthwain. Oh, 28. I'm going to chuck a dagger at Samantha. <laughs> okay. Off a two-handed or two-weapon fighting offhanded. Passive receptions above 20. I mean, suits uh, is 23. Uh, Arthos the perp- is 21. The glyph is broken on uh, Lockthwain. Uh, does a 21 hit Samantha? I hate names. <laughs> ah! <laughs> marked uh samantha not looking so good but she will make a wisdom save we'll mark that one fail for her uh okay i'm gonna reach down grab a hold of the my bandolier it's my equipment mm-hmm. and misty step uh deanthos is going to counter spell you the fuck you will <laughs> all right i can dreadful counter spell <laughs> yeah. yeah uh your misty step goes off because of the vecna counter spell and I have the bandolier in my hand, right? Right. Perfect. I will load in a bullet. This one's got a golden cross on it. And I shoot Ileana's corpse and true resurrection. We knew we prepped those bullets for a reason. Yes, I did. <laughs> Hallie, does 31 hit your dead body? Yep. Thank you. I still have another shot. I'll pop that shell out and put in one that has a red cross on it and shoot Harlan Dino. This is how it heal. So you you are at full health as well. <laughs> oh whoa! <laughs> Twenty nine hit the dead body or the unconscious body of Harlandino. Uh, it would, yeah. Regains all hit points. Yep. Oh yeah! God damn, <laughs> that's fucking awesome. So at the end of Argus's turn, the cosmic horror goes. It will take. I love you, Rob. <laughs> it has multi attack, one bite, and two tentacle attacks at. Uh, it will attempt to bite Dandy. Okay, that'll be a disadvantage. It took the dodge action. Sixteen. Ah, that misses. Uh, tentacle attack at Dandy. Third, uh, twenty-two to hit. Uh, twenty-two misses. Just last, barely. Last one at Dandy. Sixteen misses. Woo! Dodge that action. Dodge. OP. Yeah. And that'll be Argus's turn. And Great. the cosmic cores. Garbanzo. Can't really see the bandolier, so I'll just uh, blow it all up. That sounds fun. Uh oh, there is a lot of people right there. Uh, cool. Uh, uh, we, got a, we got a six level fireball. <laughs> Works for me. 
<laughs> uh, that is a deck save from Ileana, Tumult, Argus, <laughs> Ivan, and Garygek. Well, I mean, it's targeting Vecna, so Vecna's also going to say no, or at least try to say no. Uh, Fireball does not happen. <laughs> it would also hit Vecna, and he would not like that. d and is <laughs> weird. That was... That was that was I'm a cast. Zach. No, I'm not. Uh, I do need you to roll a uh, d20 for me. Oh, does the surge still go off? You cast the spell. Hell yeah. It's 12. Off. Your number is a seven right now, I believe. Yeah, because Garbanzo surged last time. Vecno. I'm going to use, with a bonus action, Vile Teleport. I'm going to teleport over here. And anything within 15 feet of me is going to take damage. Psychic damage, because I can. Yeah, each creature of my choice within 15 feet of my destination... Uh, take three d ten or not? No, it takes three d six psychic damage. So nine. He's going to stare down at this little goblin and say, "I see you, and you will not hide from me." And aiming down. Sorry, Tapartos. Uh, that's okay. Hit everything. I'm gonna draw a line. Yeah, we're gonna aim it down this way. Flight of the damned. <laughs> Uh, let's uh, put that in there so people can see. Conjure up a torrent of flying spectral entities to fill a 120-foot cone and pass through all creatures in the area before dissipating. Each creature in the area must take a DC 22 con saving throw. On a failed save, they take 36 88 necrotic damage and is frightened of Vecna for one minute. On a successful save, they take half as much and aren't frightened, and then they're allowed to repeat their frightened. So it should be everything on this half of the map and maybe Phil and Samantha and Soup. Everybody except for Bubba is going to take 34. And then I will I, I take two attacks with Afterthought. So I will swing mm. once at each of them, I guess. So this is for uh, Garbanzo. He'll take nine and nine Necrotic for a total of 18. And then for Gum Gum, <laughs> uh, 13. But they are inflicted by Entropic Magic, and they will take 2d8 Necrotic Damage at the start of each of their turns. Um, and then, then after they take the damage, they can make a DC 20, a DC 20 to 0 Constitution Saving Throw to end that effect. Otherwise, they can't regain hit points until they end that effect. Gotcha. Uh, and then, after all of that, I will need Wisdom Saving Throws from Gum Gum, Garbanzo. So Gum Gum rolled a 24? That fails for now. Uh, I got an 11. I need a wisdom saving throw for Phil. You got, no, that is mine. a fail for now. Go ahead and mark a failed wisdom save for... Excellent. And we'll end my turn. Okie dokie. Oof. <laughs> right, so Samantha's up. She's kind of in the middle of everything. And at one hit point. And at one hit point. She is going to scoot bonus action dash to get way the fuck up out of there. <laughs> and then is going to take a shot at Deanthos. We'll miss. Um, that'll take us to Kane's turn. Move to here. Uh, he's going to stab you with a spear, Tapartos. I know he's going to try to hit you with an axe for a 30. That hits. You are going to take 10 damage. And you cannot regain hit points until the start of Kane's next turn. That sucks. <laughs> because he made an attack on you, he's going to continue moving through with the mobile feet to not proc attacks opportunity. He's going to get to... Damn. Who's invisible. Yes. Uh, has blind sight. Or blind sense, not blind sight. Sorry. Yeah. Um, uh, is going to make unarmed strike at Ivan. 17 hit? 17 misses, you said? Correct. Misses. 23? <laughs> also misses. That is four attacks. So it's going to stand there. <laughs> um, Artos. All right, so I am going to look at the battlefield around us, look at the the beaten, the battered, the weary, and the people in front of us, and I am going to look up to the heavens and use my divine intervention to try to commune with Sylvanas and request her a favor. What are you asking for in this moment? I am asking for her. Sylvanas, we are at the cusp of deciding the fate of the mortal plane, all of the creatures of life depend on us to succeed here in this moment. I beg of you, give us the life that you have imbued into me for so long. Bring me and my friends back to health so that we may vanquish the foes in front of us. This one last wish I beg unto you. Uh, you still have to roll. Level 20. Level 20? 
Just oh. <laughs> oh. Well, now the question is, is she dead? Your channel divinity to Sylvanas. There is no response. Nothing, Nothing happens. happens. Nothing happens. Uh, I do think that Deanthos looks up at you after hearing that. Say out and goes, oh, you poor little man. I am the god of life now. And you see that these two, the two eyes in, in the middle of this like wrapped suit of armor that he's wearing are glowing bright white. I still hate that. It upsets me to a drastic degree. I am angry. I am frustrated. And I feel like God is spitting in my face. I cast spiritual weapon and I bop the anthem. <laughs> oh, we're out of tokens. <laughs> we don't have any tokens, in. I don't care. Uh, a 20 is going to miss, I'm sure. He does miss, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm, can I charge him? I have 55 feet of movement. I just you want, can get like, right the fuck up on him. Yeah, you can fucking get up in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. Move yeah. yourself. Get up in there. Uh, Garagak, there's a lot of options for you right now. Yeah. As much as I think Garagak wants him, I don't think he would leave Ivan to get his ass beat by Kane. To be honest, I'll beat the shit out of Kane. <laughs> it still hits. Still hits. <laughs> Ninety six damage. Anything else, Garagak? No, that's it. Arlindino! <laughs> okay, Draconic Transformation gives me a fly speed of 60. So that would give me 30 okay. feet of movement, correct? Half. Is... It's a glyph. Um, so, you, so you would stand up and you would still have 30 feet of movement. Which should get me here. Yep. If I do it uh, right. As soon as you enter the 10 foot range, he's going to make an attack of opportunity on you. 29 hit? React, you get a second reaction? He's special. I am yep. Fully aware. Okay, yep. Uh, yep, that's gonna hit. So you'll take 28 damage, he's not gonna pump it with anything else. But unfortunately, your movement speed has dropped to zero. Um, okay. I'll use my bonus action, I'll reach up and I'll grab the Jewel of Three Prayers around my neck and I'll expend a charge to teleport 15 feet. Um, I could get here with that, right? Um, and because, uh, with the teleportation of that, um, uh, the mist around Harlan whips him up into mist and drops him in the space with a thunderous explosion. The Anthus is going to need to take, make a uh, DC 18 con save. Yeah. Pretty okay. Uh, is there half damage on that? Um, he's going to take half of 4d10, so let me roll that really quick. Okay. Ra radiant damage. 29 halved. 29 halved. And I'll say, I'm back again, bitch. And I'll strike twice. <laughs> 36. And um, so... 42 base. I'm going to roll my force damage from my god. Uh, 18 from god shit. And I am going to pump additional 5d8 going into this. Additional 20. Uh, you strike out and you hit. You know it's a solid connection. And when you look at where your sword hit, you see the armor has caught the blade. You see the energy dissipates in and through it. You're back. That is a total of 42, 60, 80 damage. Uh, Harlan, anything else on your turn? Uh, it's bonus action and action. I can't do anything else. End of your turn, Deanthos is going to take a legendary action. He's going to make an attack on you. Uh, six? That's not going to hit. Nope. My, okay. It's 27 right now. Perfect. Um, we'll take the... Well, we'll just fly up and out. Go ahead and attack of opportunity if you would like. I would. Egusta. Uh, he's just going to stab you with the spear this time. It's disadvantage. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Thank you. So 33 hit. Okay. So you are stopped in place. You do not get to fly up and up. Okay. With the sentinel feet. Uh, Ivan, you will take uh, 25 damage. Um, I'll make a melee attack with the, uh, with the paw. The wooden paw. Do it. And that's a miss. So uh, a lot of conservation for Garagak, and that's it. Alrighty. Um, yeah. End of Ivan's turn. Kane is going to take legendary action. He's going to make two unarmed strikes on Ivan. I will teleport and block this one. Yeah. Sounds good. Um, yeah. so the first, if either of them hit, you will block the first one that does that. Er, boop. 20? 23? Miss. Damn. Well, okay. Uh, Bubba. Uh, hey, um, what was it called? I'm looking for the, uh, the fighter thing that gave me advantage. Uh, fighting spirit. Yeah, fighting your samurai. Spirit. There you go. Yeah, using the second out of my food. Yeah, there you go. I'll get that 15 THP back and make four attacks on Dandelion. 
Two hits and a crit. And I will go ahead and those are good. The 26 hits. 26 hits. Um, that's it. Bonus action action. 46 points of damage. Gotcha. Dandelion looks pretty hurt. Like really fucked up or just just now looking a little bloodied? No, like really fucked up. Uh, end of your turn. Baba Deanthos is going to take another legendary action and is going to uh, run. So Harlan and Tapartos can both make attacks of opportunity. <laughs> I am going to burn my final inspiration to make my attack, to make it a natural 20. And just so happens that with Orc Splitter, when you roll a 20 on an attack roll with this weapon against an, it was an Orc, but now it's a god, that god must succeed a DC 17 con save or drop to zero hit points. So that's going to be 60. 60 damage. Perfect. You see as you go down, the armor catches the tip of God Splitter and you feel the energy reverberate through. You aren't really sure what this means. Harlan it, is pretty sure what this means. What it means is I hate him. That was my last inspiration. I tried. It was worth it. Legendary action or er, reaction from the cosmic horror. Right. He left my uh uh tentacle oh, has a 30 range. foot range. 20, I guess that misses. 20 does miss, unfortunately. Damn it. Do I have a free action to speak? No, it'll be on my turn. Never mind. Sorry. You can speak if you want. See, speak what you want to speak. Stop hitting Deanthus. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's gonna confuse the shit out of Garrick. Eh? <laughs> Theater goes, no, please keep hitting. It's fine. Oh, Bye, Sander. Just kind of staring at this the panicked uh, dandelion. <laughs> I may have made a lot of mistakes in my life, but the biggest one was not trusting them and take my swings. I'm in an anti-magic field, aren't I? You are. Cool. So just regular ass hits. I mean, it's advantage because of Bubba, but it's yeah, disadvantage because of Partos. dodge action. So flat? Correct. Flat, hey, it just, yeah, it's fine. 34 and a 36. Both hit. Holy God. 14 and a 15. Your inherent radiant damage still goes through. Nice. <clears throat> so the uh, 14, 15, 5, and 4, because smites are magic, technically, yeah? Yes. Nice. You still have your god power, right? I do. Yeah. Depending on how well you roll on this, I Sander Elias. Yes. Tell me how you kill Dandelion. This is something that we should have done long ago and i just cleave into where his uh neck meets his shoulder just down with the <laughs> holy avenger see it sinks that's in familiar. It, it sinks about a foot deep oh i didn't even do that on purpose that's beautiful once the sword stops in the middle of the chest the the anti-magic field drops and the holy avenger would flare to life in his chest he just Hell looks yeah. up at you in this last moment well once i have nothing to say but well done simple drops to his knees from a simple man sliding off of the blade collapses to the ground so at the end of lysander's turn yeah <laughs> martos is both dying and seething the cosmic horror is going to use a legendary action to poison jet it's going to roll across dandy's body and hit bill and soup okay so con saves from them yep you heard him boys 21 mm. con save soup rolled a 16 soup failed uh, Phil rolled a 22. Phil saved. That's a shame. Do we need... I agree. 24 poison damage, and then uh, I need a uh, some saving throw. It's a natural 20 for 27. Hell yeah. Glyph on soup breaks. Hmm. Soup, you are back to fighting for your friends and allies. Well, I got one of the two. Lysander, at the end of your turn, Deanthos oh, is also going to take a legendary action. And he's going to make an attack on Argus. Oh, I know. Lord. It's going to hurt. Oh, a teleport. It's a booty cat. I did, I did. 19 to hit? That it meets me? my... It misses me. <laughs> so so you, will, you will still take whatever damage would have been done because you're choosing to take the damage to, like, save your ally. Yeah. Um, Landing in front of Deanthos, I'll lean just... over, look at uh, Dandelion's body, look back at Deanthos, and go, that's three for three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Even without being able to see his face through the armor, oh, fucking yeah, you know he's shaking. <laughs> yeah, he like shudders, like oh fuck. <laughs> Phil is one hundred percent going after that bandolier. Um, after having watched this whole interaction happen, he's going to come up here on Argus, and he is going to just rail into him as hard as he can. Soup has a melee Ooh. weapon, right? Cool. Uh, five for twelve doesn't hit. Doesn't hit Phil. <laughs> uh, no, no, okay. it doesn't. Cool. Not even close. Yep. <laughs> um, 
Great. Well, Phil is why you going cut to... him and not just forcibly take the bandolier off this man. Because no, Argus dies, is just holding it. He's because Argus is just holding it. Yeah. Oh, he's holding it. So mm -hmm. the most obvious option is I can hit many times in a round. If I try to fucking hit his hands eight times, odds are I'm gonna fucking get the thing. That's what I'm gonna do. Um. Oh, um so that. I'm going so. to try to hit Argus uh four times. All four hits. So, four so hits. Garagak, you would react to the first one, right? Okay. Right. Uh, they would so, all hit me as well. To be fair. Oh, all all four of them would hit you. Yeah. No, just AC wise. AC wise. Oh, okay. So first one hits Garagak for two handed fifteen slashing damage. So nothing. <laughs> nothing. Uh, <laughs> Argus drops unconscious. All right. Now, question for Ian: Does Phil keep swinging? You can take the bandolier. Phil's prerogative has been the bandolier specifically. You, if you action surge, you have four attacks to make against the bandolier. That's exactly what I'm doing. I am picking it up with my free action, and I am just going to smash the shit out of everything that is in there. So four more one attacks. in four chance, four attacks is going to break you. Right? Meaning that's that I don't have to roll. It's, correct. It's happening. I mean, you're okay. you're literally hitting a thing in your hands. Like we have a Goliath to deal with now. Ah, oh, god, fucking damn it! Phil does get a wisdom save at the end of his turn. Uh, wisdom save 11, mark another fail. Lock swing and death save. Really? Here's the problem with where lock things at right now. Technically, I bounce up with one HP because I have aura of life, right? But then I start my turn in, in the aura? shit. So if I'm yeah. close that save, Nick, I'm going until, right back down. Until Ryan moves, you are just locked down there. Not, so I can make the save. Yeah, if make, you make the DC 22 save, what's the you save? take nothing. Uh, constitution, I think, well, drops again. Dropped again. Let's go. <laughs> I think I'm moving when it gets back to my turn. Oh, no. I'm you know, gone. Start of his turn, though, he does take necrotic damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so he'll take 12. And so you now he takes that hit wisdom point. save? Now it's a wisdom save, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Glyph broken. <laughs> How many fails was Gum Gum at? He was at two. The glyph breaks on Gum Gum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's one shot at Garbanzo. Hot damn. And pretty, yeah, Gum Gum's got a plus nope. 19. You're not Anyone missing. Is. Go ahead and roll you your can, damage. You can nat one 44. and not miss this man. Uh, Garbanzo is going to take 44 damage. Roll a wisdom saving throw. Uh, 18. <laughs> That's not going to do it. 40 points of damage. Uh, look, I'm real fucked up. 17. And that is three failed. Um, so for a the last hit and this hit, take 24 extra damage because of his aspect. He's still standing, but really, really, really fucked up. I've got two HP. So he just pops Garbanzo <laughs> like a bean. Yeah. The glyph, oh, on, the glyph is broken on Garbanzo. And <laughs> he'll shoot Kane next. Good for him. <laughs> okay. I, I guess it doesn't matter at this point because Soup is within 30 feet. You get to add 15, 15 damage. damage. <laughs> Gar <laughs> Garbanzo. That's going to miss. What? Yeah. I got a 20. <laughs> Anything else for Gum Gum? Uh, he's going to move. We're going to start getting the band back together. Because I'm planning on making this believable in my roleplay, I will make a melee weapon attack on Gum Gum. Just do it. You gotta hit a 22. 25. You hit it. Do your damage. 9. Okay. 20. <laughs> 20. <laughs> he is now out of temporary hit points and starting <laughs> to take real damage. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> he took... Uh, okay, so soup. Um, uh, Soup is going to re-up uh, Hunter's Mark on Kane. And he's going to take two attacks with Ephixus. 28 and 36. Both hit? Um, because of his aspect, I forgot this earlier, all damage is doubled. So two instances of 30 and uh, six doubled. You see this version of Kane with that extra three damage. Dallas. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm glad I did that. <laughs> uh, that is Soup's turn. Um, actually, he's going to... Uh, he's going to move somewhere here. That's his turn. That'll take us to Deanthos' turn. Deanthos is looking around the battlefield, sees Garagak squared up right next to him, sees the mind-controlled allies being freed left and right. I'm not going down without taking at least some of you with me. And he's going to attempt to take multiple shots down at Arcus. I'm going to assume you're going to block the first one, Garagak. 
Uh, those are the first three of four. First, all three hit Argus. Oh yeah. Uh, so the first one will be blocked by you, Garagak. You will take twenty-seven halves to thirteen. And yeah, Argus, you are struck down to twice. And again, he's being very precise in where he's hitting, and he takes head from shoulders, locks in that hey. line. You do yeah, see okay. Argus's aspect comes floating out of him, and Deanthos once again holds this glove out and brings in the aspect. His final attack is going to square up with you, Garagak, uh, for another 26 half to 13 damage. Hey, I'm finally out of temp HP. I'm sitting at like six. I'm at 346. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I've killed, I've I've killed two people, okay? One of them came back already. The other one will come back soon, I'm sure, but I'm doing damage. <laughs> That's going to bring us to Goliath's turn. Goliath's going to rush you. Hello, darling. DC 22 con save. Damn. Yeah, He's going to recklessly attack you, Rhyme, four times. We'll take that one because I didn't switch to advantage. That's on me. Rough. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, the first one automatically misses. Because of Quicksilver. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, there's reaction. Okay, 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 okay. Welcome to the no head group. <laughs> <laughs> you said you can stop one of them? Yeah. Uh, silvery bulbs on the other one. You're within 60 feet. Or the Goliath is, in, is within 60 feet of Ileana. So is burn that the And you have to re-roll the d20 and use the lower roll. Oh, so I, I have to re-roll that second crit. Yes. All right. Cool. So, so Quicksilver on the 24. Um, so, yeah, I will use the aspect of response on that longsword um, and just make like a large wooden shield kind of appear in hopes that it gets lodged in it on that final crit. Okay. Like just a cut from a tree, but I will take the 35. Okay. And then does 21 hit? Uh, no, I'm at a 22. Nice. Uh, so, you will take. 45 damage. Cool. The very well, barbs is insane. Yup. Yeah. Prime, it is your turn. Well, uh, first fair, darling. I'm going to stab him. <laughs> uh, hey, five feet to the right, please. <laughs> <That's fair>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, All step right. out of that aura. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have advantage because of the thing. Still a 19. 19 misses, unfortunately. <laughs> nice. Uh, Offhand attack, 21. Everyone also misses, unfortunately. Damn it. Well, uh, uh, goodbye. <laughs> Just run a few feet away. Can I make an attack of opportunity on you? You cannot because I of uh, L- f- fancy footwork. There we go. Vecnol. The child who steals keeps running. Let's see if fate's still on your side. And I will use rotten fate. I need a DC 22 con save. He succeeds. Um, and they take half as much damage, so it'll take half of that 97 as necrotic damage. You see it is absorbed by the armor. I wonder what the breaking point of your armor is. Keep pushing, maybe you'll find out. I'm gonna just move in here. Uh, when we'll you keep... enter his range, he's gonna make an attack of opportunity on you. 30. Uh, hits. 26 points of damage. Oh, bonus action, vile teleport, 5 feet. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, is he immune to psychic damage? He is not, no. <laughs> His armor is probably going to eat it. Uh, so he'll take eight. <laughs> Does that count as a, is him taking damage? No, he doesn't actually take the damage. I mean, you could also give it to Phil to maybe get him that wisdom save. I will give it to Phil. Yeah, Phil, I forgot. Phil He's is only also got one currently right now. evil, so Phil would take eight. <laughs> so take your wisdom save. And I regain 80 hit points. Back to full. 26 didn't matter. 18. Wow, okay. Not quite there. Mark another fail. Anything else on your turn, Vecna? Uh, nope, that's it. End of your turn. Glass can take a legendary action. He's going to get the fuck in here. Over here. It's Kane's turn. Uh, Kane. Kane is looking around. Dandelion's dead. Deanthos is surrounded. Glass is back. He doesn't like his odds. He's going to attempt to run. Ivan, you would get an attack of opportunity with the Ruby Claw if you would like. Or the Ruby Round. No, that's okay. Kane beelines. Samantha's turn. Samantha sees that Samantha was in the room with Ileana when everything went down the first time, so is going to attempt to pull attention from Ileana. Oh, hurt her one hit point. Do it her damnedest for the heroes. <laughs> Barely hits. Damage. Ileana, that is your turn. 
Uh, bonus action sanctuary and dodge action. That's it. For the love of God, don't hit me. Artos. He's all 55 of my movement speed over to Kane. As you run up to him, he says, Right. Two options, big one. Let me leave like a good captain. I go down with my ship. Your choice. The options are let you die with the mess you've made or... That's how you want to take it. It is. Um, I am going to cast a seventh level magic missile. So as you go to cast the spell, fail safe 71. I don't want that. Sirens start blaring. Roll your damage. That's going to be 34 times four. Uh, so 60, 128 damage. Force damage, specifically. Bartos, please describe to me how your magic missiles kill Kane. I am just staring at him in the face, and I let my hands shrug to my side as arcane energy just shoots out into the sky, and then one by one, nine piercing bolts of light just shatter through his body, one after another from the sky, raining down upon him, until he's peppered full of holes from skull to foot. Collapses. Smoldering in front of me. I spit on his corpse. My friends, is at this point that we are out of initiative order. You see, you all are far enough away, you don't hear Cain give this failsafe order, but you do see that the crystal on the top is flashing, <laughs> and there's siren sounds wailing. You see immediately that Deanthos and the Goliath both look at each other, look over, and Deanthos just screams, No! You fucking fool. And the barriers, or the crystals that are powering the barriers, shut off. You see, almost immediately, a familiar ringed portal appears. And running through it, Olan comes barreling in, followed by dozens upon dozens upon dozens of various soldiers. You see lycanthropes, you see DITs wielding sticks like olive branches of war as their wands. You see the the entirety of the Tapartos clan. You see just everyone you've recruited into this fight comes pouring through, leading the charge just behind Olan, Sagrandino, of course. Not followed far behind by Mama Bear. You see they come rushing in. You see Deanthos and the Goliath are looking. The Goliath turns and readies his blade. Deanthos under his breath. It's going to blow. We have to leave. Drop your weapon first. Both of you. Make me. Gladly. You gonna hit him? <laughs> mm, yeah. Aiming specifically for his hand, I guess. 18 will miss. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I don't want to die. I'll cast hold person on him. Okay. What kind of save? Uh, it's going to be high for him. It's, oh shit, what is it? Oh, I marked the wrong spell off. Uh, uh whiz, 23. 26, just barely. <laughs> well, we're, we have to go. The entire thing is collapsing around us. We must leave. The ship is going to explode. If any of you want to leave, you need to leave, same as us. You're not leaving our well, sight. Everybody evacuate now. Well, you either leave through that ringed portal created by Olan, or you get to stay. Take them with us. If they try to run, kill them. I think it's pretty... But only once we get to the other side... Easy answer for you are. to come to, isn't it, Deanthos? The way out's right there. Pointing to the portal. <laughs> the way out's right there. We're offering it. All you gotta do is surrender. You see that the Goliath is staring at Deanthos, seemingly waiting. Reach out with my hand and touch his head. Say so you have six seconds to decide. To the Goliath or Deanthos? Deanthos is right here. I'm not near the You're Goliath. Like Deanthos looks over at you, Lysander. The armor drops. Everyone has a chance at redemption. You can make up yeah. later. Uh, you see that the people that funneled in, seeing that you all had it <laughs> relatively well in hand, have started funneling back out. There are just a few key individuals standing and waiting. I'm just going to start shepherding people out and just screaming, Come out! No! Okay. I, I pick up Argus's bits. <laughs> it's just, just two bits. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, uh, armor comes down, I would have sworn. All right, roll. 30? I'm going to tell you right now. There are, there's maybe one more roll. In this campaign. So if anyone has any resources in this moment they want to use. I know you don't. I just didn't know if anybody else did. I wish I did. I would not 20 this just to smoke his ass. <laughs> yeah. <Is> he... <laughs> okay. I'm not helping right. Garagak kill my brother. Garagak, tell me how in this moment you killed the Anthos. Armor gone. He was beaten and bloodied. Armor comes down. I just overhand swing right into his head. Just boom. With a hammer. His skull is concaved. Drops to the ground. Lifeless in an instant. I just turned to Lysander. Well, if you take the body back, he can get a second chance. 
I'll look at Lysander and say I promised one. Pick up my brother's body and walk through the portal. Uh, you see that the armor has collapsed down, and you see that there is an almost pulsating, like, bronze, copper-esque looking cube that is sitting on the ground. Um, would you grab that as well, or would you leave yeah. that behind? Yeah, okay. <laughs> just set it on, it on top of him, pick him up. Goliath, seeing this, drops his sword. I did not want this. We can well, talk you about can that. Come with through the portal and we can figure out what's happening with your brain, big man. I would like that. You get maybe three or four steps before Gum Gum stops you and takes Argus. I let it. I, I'm sorry. We don't have time right now, but I, I'm sorry. What does Gum Gum do with Argus? Carry him through? Um, I will stand alongside Departos and make sure everyone is out and I'll be the yeah, second everyone, one. Yeah. Everyone gets out safely if they choose to. Namely, a question for Tumble. Hold on. What? Is the room you sent me to originally, you need to come with me now. What? Why? Open the portal. And Opens I, another I, portal for you. I drag him in through it. I have to... One second. And you see, like, escorting everybody else out, briefly grabs Will your this shoulder. kill the material plane? No. Or just the city? The, it's, it's like self-destruct on the ship. The, the, Goliath, the, Goliath, the Goliath just looks and goes, just here. It was the last resort to kill you. Everybody out. You I with me. Tumult? I will get us. I will get us what out. Have to do. Just go. I look at Tumult. Please. Yeah, he. I need to give him this. Don't do this. And I walk through the portal. After Harlem walks through the portal, I'm just going to look at you and say, "Do what you have to do." Uh, that's what I'm doing. Got to go. Don't have time. No. Thank you for being my friend. I walk through. Everyone else goes through the portal. The portal shuts behind you all. Tumult. Olan looks at you. Opens the portal to the first room. What are we doing? And follows you through. I'm going to drag him over to the book and push him over so he touches it first. What are you do? It dropped when I activated this. I died. I can't. I'm not touching that again. I can't give him the chance of having that. You're coming back with me, right? I don't know. Wherever you go, we'll find you. We'll see where. We'll see whose soul survives. I would like. Give me an insight check, Tumble, because you're the only one left. Twenty-two. No, that's not an insight. That is an intelligence check. What? <laughs> that's fine. It doesn't matter. Uh, this was not the only book that was dropped and left. All of Grimm's. And I go point to the other six. I do remember him. I, 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 that was what made me do this in the first place. Yeah. And I'm going to drag him over to the other six, and including the one that he should recognize. He does. And he just like looks down. I'm sorry. He looks up at you, just tears rolling down his face. Couldn't stop the person that did it, but I did he, know that they were here. He's been gone for a long time. I'm just glad to have something of his left. And you see the only book that he grabs with his bare hand is the one that his father had. You see... Now three books floating behind him. He opens a portal and the other three fall through. Puts a hand on your shoulder. I pull out two books, notebooks, and say, I will hand it to him and say, I'm sure someone out on that side can come up with a good title. It's everything that's happened so far. I can know somebody. For what it's worth, I support your choice. Both of them. It's, uh, it's been hard. Wherever Tum and Ult end up, we'll get you back. Oh, we'll end up where we're supposed to be. I'm more worried about him. <laughs> we'll figure that out, too. <laughs> and he just winks at you. Tears still kind of streaming down his face, but a smile across it. Go get your boyfriend back, asshole. He walks through the portal after giving you one last, like, backwards look and just shaking his head. Uh, the rest of you gather. Mama Bear is standing by Gum Gum, who's holding Argus. You think he cares what he comes back as, as long as he comes back? Probably not, yeah. honestly. Honestly, yeah. no. He always liked chaos. Fuck yeah! I will say... <laughs> I hate that son of a bitch. Before you can say, before you can say <laughs> anything, she is casting reincarnate on Argus. <laughs> Argus, Argus is favor. like, ooh, I hope he's a half work. <laughs> and roll a d twenty for me. Well, ooh, sorry. Mind. First, roll me a d four, and then roll a d twenty. Okay, so you rolled a four, and then what did you get on the d twenty? Uh, eight. You see, Argus's body disperses into this like pale green light. When it reforms, he is slightly taller, a whole lot furrier. Two long ears sticking up off of his head. So you see Argus the Haringon or Bunny Folk. <laughs> You're literally awesome. just talking about how you wanted to be a Haringon? That's awesome. This All of you crazy. are gathered in the lair, your loved ones around you. The god of gods killed and trapped in a scythe, one of the most tactical and organized leaders of a century's, nay, eons old organization, defeated. And with two lives that some of you wish to save? One life. 
One life. Yeah. Dan yep. just did not walk off that ship. Like, I'm holding a no. corpse. Hold on. Yeah. Hi, Sander. What's your passive perception? Through all the chaos and commotion, it was hard to tell. But now that you're back and safe and calm, it's getting hot. The cube, Danthos's armor, it's heating up and it's heating up rapidly. I would lift it off his body. Continues. Get rid of it. You see. Hold on. Throw it somewhere. Alon's not back yet. Bag of holding. Interesting. You drop it in the bag of holding. It was his armor. A few moments later, careening out of the bag are three beams of energy. Oh, it was the god powers? I thought it was the, all the damage exploding. I thought Alex was going to kill us all again. Oh, it was about to explode for sure. It was yeah. about to explode. Yeah, <laughs> like it probably fucks my bag of holding, but it's fine. We still have the chest. That can Where's your powers. sister? But you see them float up to a moment of stasis. The party, the full gods and previous full gods in your new bodies. Well, new body and one just replenished body. Sand summon. See a figure striding through a room that now you realize everyone around you is frozen in time. A man dressed in a long gray tailcoat, top hat affixed to one side. You see a chain of a pocket watch hanging into one pocket. Dapper looking dress, or like dress vest on underneath. Just a very dapper and pleasant looking human. Approaches and looks up and you see that his eyes are glowing in a similar white energy that those of you saw on the ship after sending... Two monks careening down a very, very, very long hole. For those of you that are in the room, you gather. The explosion on the ship cracked that containment. Order God's soul. You are standing in the direct presence of one of the four primal deities, the god of order. Thank you. Been trapped for quite some time. Now we stand on a precipice. There is a whole lot of gods that aren't around anymore. I want (laughs) creation back. A piece. Well, that does answer that question for one of you, I think. (laughs) You all have a choice to make. I want you to know the ramifications before you choose. Pantheons need to be filled. Keep balance in the world. Comes with some responsibility. A whole lot of it, for sure. But it also comes with the ability to help find that balance. I know a lot of you have holes that you're going to be feeling. You can fill those holes if you so choose. No is a valid answer. No. Not no. How? You fully embrace the powers that you hold inside of you or that I will put back inside of you for some of you. You help guide the world and those who worship you and the right path, whatever you think the right path is, because that the freedom of choice, the freedom to do what you think is right. So balance is achieved. Me and my siblings all know this and you wouldn't be doing it alone. Yeah. The other three deities. So I will ask each of you, let's start with the obvious. Argus O'Bannon. How do you feel about becoming the God of creation and helping guide those of a similar mind to find the right path for them? You better fucking believe I want to do it. So he reaches up with a single hand, draws your aspect back into you. But you feel it's changed. This isn't harnessing a power that was gifted to you. This is you becoming an embodiment of that power. You immediately feel you can create at the snap of your fingers. Just immediately a construct comes to your mind and you can make it reality. You also, in a very Bruce Almighty fashion, start hearing a lot of other tinkerers and craftsmen go, Fuck, shit! Ah, my finger! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you know, they're looking for your guidance, much like you've looked to those that came before you for their wisdom as well. <laughs> Shit's gonna get weird. Argus O'Bannon, god of creation. Rhyme Blackstrand, you're a unique one. Right. i a uh, rather new addition and a bit of a hodgepodge at this point. That's not what you've always been. No, I've traditionally been a rapscallion, but... What is it that makes this rapscallion so good at what they do? An incredibly quick blade, the ability to react at a moment's notice should the sea get unwary. It's going to say my ingenuity mostly, but I suppose that's one of the same. I would think so. There's a new spot that's opened up. God of the Sails. Oh, I liked her. That's a shame. So did I. What is it? Somebody's got to do it. it. means to be a god. Do you get a normal life and... Never again. Ripped away from everything I've known and loved and... While they are around, you'll be able to come and say hello. You will outlive them by millennia. Outlive everyone, I'm sure. Until there's another world-ending, God-rending reckoning. Yeah, but at least you know you'll have at least some of your friends by your side. It's about time this uh, poor beggar child became something. You immediately smell the air among the sea, the salt water trickling up your nose. You hear many voices calling out to you, asking for guidance, asking for calm seas, all things that you have, the ability to help. Ryan Blackstrand, God of the Sails. Ivan, you're good, right? 
<laughs> yeah, uh, I'm good. All right. I'll open up a bottle, grab a, like, a nice golden goblet of wine, start drinking it. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> He's not frozen in time. He's fine. Yeah. Flap, flap that cannot be, cannot be t- trifled with. Ileana, you're a unique case as well. Yeah, I am. You had the aspect of life flowing through you, am I correct? Yeah, that's right. How did that feel? It felt good. It helped give me a new perspective on how I use my magic. But did it feel right? I believe so. I have a, uh, I have a new life goal now. I'm going to bring the dragons back. And not just copies of them. I think I have a plan to bring back the dragons and continue, like, I'm bringing the dragons back. Well, you know, that would be a whole hell of a lot easier taking over as the goddess of life, health, longevity. I think it would be, but I also think I have to decline. I'm still really young, and I don't want to mess something as important as that up. I think that is a very, very, very mature answer. I hope you achieve your goals. Now for the unsure, Harlan Dino. God, what was your aspect? Loyalty? Yes, it was. You got all these plans for settling down, raising some kids with your husband. Freshly made official husband, from what I understand. I, I, I have a question. Is there someone else? In general, or? Is there someone worthy of the role? I know I was chosen by whatever. You, I guess. Is no, there someone? I mean, is there someone else? You don't take on godhood, boy, because you think you're the only one that can. Answer the damn question. Sure. The question is, are they right? The question is, are you? I could never be right if I didn't stay here. No, is my answer. Good call. I just turn and look at where Sagrin is frozen in time and smile. Yeah, who would ever want to be the god of honor and loyalty on the battlefield anyways? That seems like a hell of a terrible job. Nobody someone, will ever want that. Give it to someone more deserving. You have any ideas? I put my hand on Garrick X shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his own plans. That's about as loyal as you can get, though. He held true to his promises to the letter. That That motherfucker is loyal like a puppy dog. (laughs) Yeah, that's true. (laughs) There are many people. I'm not going to decide for someone else. And I would let them choose as well. But I understand. I hope your life is fulfilling, Harlan Dino. Gary Gak. Aspect of the sun? Yeah, that's what my friend said. The man he was. How did you feel about being the aspect of the sun? I was was very uh, happy about it because my friend gave it to me. Did it feel right to you? Did you cherish it because it was a gift from a friend, or did you cherish it because it felt like who you are? I do tend to try to be happy and make others smile, just like a sunrise. Just like a sunrise, indeed. Well, Gary Gek, this might seem out of character for you, out of place, based on your prowess and combat-related activity. But what says we... I think I got a different spot for you, if you think you'd be up for it. Can I keep the aspect my friend gave me? Well, if Ileana gets her way, he'll need it back. Oh, yeah. If he comes back, I'd gladly give it back to him. The ten were included in that plan, right, Ileana? Or was that just the, the little dragons? I didn't think of specific dragons. I'm not sure what souls I'll be able to find. I can find Terrence's. <laughs> I, I, I would welcome your assistance. Yes, this is, a, this is going to be a very difficult endeavor. <laughs> That's the only person I'd give it to, though. Why don't you hold on to it, but keep it safe somewhere not inside your body? I think, Gergak, that you... Would be a great god of joy and wonder. Oh. Your whole role would be to bring happiness to people, make sure the good things keep rolling, make sure that even in the dark times, people kept a smile on their face, and to keep that childlike wonderment going as long as they could. I've done pretty good at that so far. I agree. So what do you say, big guy? Could I still walk this world? You could. It would be different, but you could. Would people see me? You would just have to wear a little bit of a disguise, not around those who knew you in your current life. So the people that know me could never know it was me? No, they could. That's what I'm saying, is you would have to wear oh. disguise around everybody else so that, because the people that know you are going to know what you're doing, but the people that don't know you, you don't really want to go walking around going, hey, I'm a god. You saw what happened to that last prick that did that. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I don't want that. Just my friends. Yeah, I could do that. You had a box, you said? Yeah, we got a box. Argus, you got the box? <laughs> Pulls the box out of, the, out of his bag. Perfect. And then in a flash, you see the aspect is ripped out of Garagak and shoved into the box. Garagak, it it hurts so bad. That that tingled. (laughs) Or does Garagak actually feel this one? 
<laughs> no, you feel you feel this one. It's the first pain that you felt in a long time. Uh, I'd be like yeah, uh, yeah, Peter Griffin on Family Guy, like ooh, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> <laughs> <On his knee. laughs> But you see, it reaches up, and from out of the room, out of what you've seen, you see this light blue energy come pouring into the room and into you. Immediately, you hear the tragically sad cries of children having a bad day. You hear same. The sounds of grief, people mourning, but you also hear rambunctious laughter. You hear the sounds of couples in love. You hear the good and the bad. That leaves us with two, Topartos the Third and Lysander Elias, the warriors of Sylvanas. Was it still the sword and the shield at your guys' time, or had that changed? I think different words, but same metaphor. I'm sure you both are aware by now. Lysander has no clue. Lysander, he's dead. Okay. And we defended in their place. As did we attack. With the sword and the shield that protected the world. And all that lived upon it. This time. Eventually, for all time. Sylvanas was unique. Not quite a primordial deity like myself, but... Old. One of the old gods. Powerful enough that even being split in two is just as strong as any other deity walking. But together, together they created... Most of what y'all know of your nature. The trees, the grass, the flowers, the beautiful, beautiful clouds in the sky, the ferocious roaring waves of the seas. That's a hefty spot that needs to be filled. I know you all have your own goals, drives, lives to lead. You've seen what the two of you are capable of as mortals walking these lands when you put your heads together. Are we not going to address the fact that you tried to kill me nearly 24 hours ago, and now we're being proposed to be uh, immortal entwined deities? Hence the silence. Daddy squabbles. Long forgotten. Literally, like, a day. Yeah, you forget what days are after a while. I haven't yet. Balance. Bingo. I am still upset and frustrated and mad. I am also, and hurt, and sad. I know in many ways we are the same, and in many we are different, but of everyone, I have always seen you as my brother from the day we met. I do not know why, but it seems as though we have always been inextricably linked. I do not want this. I do not want to be this sword that fights for the earth. I do not want deification. I do not want to be anything more than a follower of the god that I love, who go lose myself in the forest for the rest of my days. And However, once again, linked yet opposites. I have a life I want to live. Power never came from Solanus. It came from me. My drives, my focus, my oath made to this world if it was still never placed properly most of the time. We can do much good as mortals, my brother. We were meant to be Sylvanas champions, not Sylvanas. Like looking up at order. Very well. Lysander, when'd you get here? Oh, the rabbit can see me now. Cool. <laughs> I think Harlan like comes out of his stupor. There's a rabbit? <laughs> <laughs> I reach out to shake Harlan's hand. Hi, Argus O'Bannon. Nice to meet you. I've uh, I've met you. <laughs> yeah, but you haven't met rabbit me. I'm very emotional right now. It was a pleasure working with you. You hear at this point. Still I made him that way. <laughs> and this is when you realize that order is gone. And the world is resumed around you. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to deny on your behalf, but it seems like that's the direction you were going as well. Point is, I don't know. Okay. I was going uh, to ask for guidance, but... T- time freezes again, orders back. Wait, were you reconsidering, or was that... Oh my god, I'm so sick of god shit. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, man, I feel you. Uh, to Partos, I've heard you have to be a king, so... Queen consort, I suppose. Oh yeah, man, you should just tell her straight up how you feel, or don't feel. I do not want to become my god, for I do not wish to be the thing of which I worship. And yet, I have made countless mistakes for the sole purpose of which I have achieved today. My singular goal, singular drive, the exist, the reason for my existence and my mortality has been achieved, which is to protect this plane, and yet I did so at such great cost. I have killed many against my creed and my oath. I have doubted myself and my faith. I have hurt my friends almost killing one. At the sake of a cost, I do not know. And yet, 
I feel as though repentance is necessary, and yet I do not know how to give it. Simple truth to Partos is that your God's dead. The only one you have to repent to? Partos, we have a lifetime to figure that out. I, speaking of Moog and your role, should you take it, swear myself to be the first sword and protector of your realm, whatever it may be, whatever you do. To any of you, I am indebted. I'll be here. First sword of the champions of the world. Chosen ones. Chosen ones. Two goddamn years and y'all couldn't come up with a better name. <laughs> I'm going I'm going to be honest, I forgot. <laughs> you are a um, good man, Harlan. I have a request. Of Harlan or of you. Oh good. Of Harlan. Of just be good to your husband and allow him <laughs> to be good to you. But of you, I ask, allow me to be the farrier of souls. My god is dead. The reason for my existence gone with her, and so I wish to be with her in death. And feel you. all those that have come previously and will continue to come to pass. Barrier of Souls is cycle. a tricky one. Most pantheons have their own thing. What you could do is be the Reaper and be there in people's last moments. Make sure that they, were, they know they were loved and cared for. Make sure they get where they're going. I wish to bring kindness, peace, and solace to all creatures of this wonderful plane who have had the joy of living upon it. If you will allow me to be a part of that cycle, I will serve my duty, duty nobly and silently. That's your choice, then you should hold on to that power sitting inside of you. I believe it to be right. For those that said no, well, for one of you, you're not going to feel a thing because it's already done. But for the other one, other two, really, this is going to suck. And Lysander and Harlan, you feel your aspects ripped out of your body, similar to how Garagax was. It, you were racked with pain for a brief moment. It's over. I think it's time to let the rage burn out. <clears throat> now let's see where these little fellas start to head. You see the aspects shoot off in separate directions. Pleasure to meet all of you. I wish you the best of luck in all the fields you've chosen. Tips is that vanishes. You all reconvene with your loved ones, with your friends. You saved the world. There's one loose end to tie up. You watch Olan walk through the portal, and it closed behind him. And immediately you hear the voice again. You let them leave. Of course. You've doomed us. I mean, you always come back, right? Not precisely. Then I'll tell you what. Go back in your little hole, give me my body back, and I'll get us out of here. I simply cannot do that. Well, then I guess we both die. I Except could get us out of here. Yeah, see, but I don't need you getting out of here. That's the problem. You're willing to throw your life away just to stop little old me. Little? Oh, don't downplay yourself. Besides, you know who's kept underneath, right? Define the... underneath. Kind of point to the floor of the ship. I was like, the god of orders held down below. I'm sure he'll be fine. And I'm going to assume he's going to want balance. So he'll put you where you need to go. Because you'll be right here him to put where it happened where you need to be and then uh, i will have done my goal i helped i helped bring a little bit more balance than what was there before i don't like not having my powers to my original you were fun was a weakness that i couldn't overcome let my emotions get the better of me i always end up with the whiniest little shits <laughs> whiny i'm pretty content with how that was my friends and i had a full adventure we went from going from town to town to slaying the god of gods and freeing a primordial god? I've lived a lifetime in like a year. What more do I want? Well, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. It's a critical success. Does, does, I was like, does it matter? <laughs> I also have one. I, I left one. <laughs> it matters. It matters a lot. Uh, they will crit success from either one of us. <laughs> Figured it would come down to it. You feel Vecna fighting tooth and nail in your mind to try to take control to escape this fate. You see, for the past year, I've also had someone else in my head. It's gotten pretty tough. I can hold you in. So we die together. Maybe you are little. Oh, that's just... And then the ship explodes. <laughs> <laughs> you are engulfed in this white, bright white flame as the cores that kept the ship moving all detonate throughout the ship and tumult your body... And the body of Vecna, the hand and I included, are reduced to nothing. And so you hear a voice. Well, that got exciting. You glance up, you kind of get your bearings. You're in your mindscape. Alt standing in front of you. That guy? Total twat. 
Is my, my, my body still like decayed? <laughs> no, you are back to your normal form. Oh, shit. We my have bad. some redoing to do. Redo? Oh, yes. Yeah, so well, to save our lives, I kind of had to set us back to zero, as it were. It took you your last time. We could probably do it in six months. Like your attitude. <laughs> well, Let's go do some cool magic shit. <laughs> We've gotten pretty good at that. We'll have to find two people afterwards. And we'll keep it on the low. I did make a promise to one little elf child. Very well. Let us go begin anew. Onwards! And with that, my friends. 103 episodes. That brings us to the end of the main story of Campaign 1 of the Dice That Bind Us. 103 episodes. Almost 500 hours of recording. And that's not including the mu- many, many sessions before we started recording. <laughs> You're all really good storytellers. We did it, y'all. We also <laughs> all survived. You, buddy. We made it. Man, I tried. <laughs> I tried to kill we survived. you. <laughs> oh, fuck, y'all. For those of you at home, thank you for being here. Thank you for sticking with us for this long. Huge shout out to all those people who started at the beginning and have been here the whole time. I know there are a handful of you, that, and it makes my heart warm knowing that. We are not quite done exploring these characters or exploring this campaign. We will do an epilogue. We'll be recording that next week, answering some of the questions y'all have left on the PSA post and all that kind of stuff for us. So look forward to that. It's going to be first half of the episode will be going character by character and figuring out what happens next, where they end up. And after that, questions. Just friends sitting around and reminiscing about something that took us goddamn near three years to do. Seriously, thank you all so much for hanging out. Thank you so much for being here with us. It's been a wild, crazy ride, but we're not done. We got plenty more stuff coming towards you. We have campaign two, Dice That Bind Us Silver and Coal, so you better be ready for some good old Wild West throwdown. It's going to be great. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. My players, thank you so much for bearing with me for all this long. I promise it only gets better from here. Thank you so much. We'll see you in two weeks for the epilogue episode of campaign one. The dice to bind us. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.